Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today, oh boy, are we getting into a very interesting, interesting magic mod. Also, new dimensions and dragons, so I hope you guys are ready. So today we're gonna be starting the video off strong. There's a lot of stuff that I wanna do as we continue to wait for our Britannia setup over here to work. By the way, I did go ahead and change the color of these. You can place a mana lens on here. First, you can dye the mana lens any color you want. And uh, yeah, it'll change the, uh, the beam. So if you don't want the green, of course you can make it whatever color you want. So I decided to go with orange, but um, today we, I wanna do something more adventurous. I want to go after some new stuff. I did manage to get my hands on the latest version of this pack um, because there's some issues right now with the transition of Curse Forge moving over to Overwolf. You didn't know that was going on. That is currently the uh, the thing and, and Curse Forge is where the mod packs and stuff and all the mods are t usually hosted. And uh, that's just where, that's just the safe place for everything to be stored at. So yeah, there's a transition going on right now. So getting updates out is not so easy. So I was able to nab this uh, courtesy of the all the mods team. Um, so that way we could fight some uh, harder mobs. I'm kind of interested in doing this. Um, there's a teleporter. So let's just take a look at this just just for a second. Um, all the mods mod has their self a telepath. Now this requires all the modium. So you definitely are going to need this. I'm gonna go ahead and make two of them. So the reason I want two of them is because one of these telepaths is actually going to go here in the overworld. And this is going to link us uh, it's supposed to link us to the mining dimension. Um, so I need to find a good place for this telepad. Um, how about right here? This will be a pretty decent spot. I think I'm going to build a little bit of a shelter around it. But right here is that telepad. Now, what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to link us. Don't know if we right click on it. Travel anchor found. I need to. <laughs> when you don't even know how to use it. So, so my goofy self. <laughs> didn't realize you just shift right click and uh, of course it says diggy diggy hole dimension um oh look hey i'll take that i bet this is gonna be an easy dimension to find waystones in that's pretty nice um so yeah just shift right click and you'll be able to access this dimension now to get back it should be just as simple as shift right clicking on the telepad to get back yes okay so now that i figured that out um if we do the same thing in the nether, I believe. Is it the nether or the end? I think it's the nether. Something something different is going to happen. So now that I have all my gear upgraded to vibranium, well, now we should upgrade it to unobtainium. Oh boy. <laughs> I um, I hope that this is, uh, is worth all of the, the work to get here because oh my, does these values look ridiculous <laughs> on this gear? It looks absolutely ridiculous, but I love it. I love it. It's yeah. Wow. Okay. So I think this is the final recipe. Yes. So this is an entire set of unobtainium gear that we now have. Oh boy. Look at my health. <laughs> Our hearts. Oh, wow. How many? How many hearts do we get? Okay, so it's keep, it keeps going. So we got an entire health bar. So now we technically have what? Um, it's like three three full health bars. I think worth of worth of health now. Okay. Um, I feel a little bit better about going after the dragon now. As far as um, like swords go, I think this is the best sword that you can have. If I if I believe I think the only thing we're lacking is a good flight option So yeah, let's do this. Let's Let's head to this dimension. We have to go back to the nether and Just figure out where we're gonna place this. I still don't exactly know probably gonna dig out a little hole and uh, Place down some mossy cobble and let's just go with that from there. We have regeneration strength Absorption like we should be good we also have uh, fire resistance, so wish me luck. This is a new dimension, okay. It's still the nether biome? Okay, interesting. 
Interesting. Our, okay, we're in the other, is what this place is called. Okay, so we are surrounded by other ore. Good thing we can uh, harvest it with this. Takes a bit of time. Other ore. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't need to get rid of this. That, that almost just up and disappeared. Okay, I'm gonna try and excavate this. What is this? This is just zinc ore. But it's in this dimension. Interesting. I'm trying to look at the map. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna tunnel out. I'm gonna set a way, I'm gonna set a waypoint here. So we know this is our portal back home. And I hope that we can break out. We're at Y level 75, which is right about like the, it's right at that like middle area. There's a lot of wither skeletons. I'm already seeing that. Okay. I'm hearing sounds. Um, I'm hearing awful, scary sounds. Uh, so I have slowly mined my way up at this point. Um, still don't know exactly where I'm at or what I should be doing. <laughs> I'm going to continue mining my way back up. I am using the ore excavation, which kind of makes this a little bit easier to get up and down at least. Um, still completely horrified of, oh, it's dark up here. Okay. Okay. Um, be ready with me, all right? Oh, there's a dragon. Immediately, there's a dragon. Should we go for it, though? I, I mean, I feel like that's something we have to do. Like, we have to go for the dragon. We have to do this. I'm going to head over here real quick. We've got to make it to the dragon. Uh, switch our gear. No knockback. And we gotta go for this. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got it, alright. Uh, do we need, do we need our jetpack? Uh, can we do this with this? What in the world? Wait, 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 wait. It's not, where's my jetpack? No, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> it's it's kind of lagging. I don't know why, but it's it's lagging just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm I'm killing it. All right, I'm killing it. Am I taking damage? I can't tell. I need to eat. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I did take a lot. I took well, I took all of my main hearts or my Regen hearts. Okay, let's get out of here for a second. Where'd my jetpack go? Ow, are these hurting me? I feel like I dropped my jetpack somehow on accident. Somewhere. But I have my magnet on. Where did I put my jet? Did my jetpack just up and disappear? No way. Well, I mean, I guess we have to take revenge. These guys are fighting each other at this point, so. What do we have on this? Um, this guy's like 33 health. Oh, he's lost a head. Oh, this is the height. Oh, yeah, that's the thing that um, we have to kill the special way. Otherwise, it's going to keep regenning health. That has 2,800 health. Excuse me. Excuse me, dragon. I don't think I understand. I mean, you can just keep killing him. I, I'm, I'm out of here. This, um... Okay, that's... Is that too much health? I, do, I don't know. Is it... It feels like an odd number. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it. But <laughs> there's no way I'm fast enough to go after this guy. And especially with it having 20-something thousand health, that would just be, no, not even practical. 
Okay, so looks like I might have to kind of test out another mod. I don't know. I, I I, I maybe have to get into this other mod that's going to be doing a bit more damage to these things. So the odd thing is, is... Okay, so we don't die to the dragons, but we also can't kill them either. Um, our sword does a lot of damage, but it doesn't do enough damage to take them out. Now there's another mod that apparently we should have looked into a while ago. Uh, that is another magic type mod that might help us out um, as far as this goes. It is nice though, being back where it's nice and calm and not incredibly chaotic like that dimension is. Oh my God, it's incredibly chaotic. So it's this mod called Maho to Sky and it, it's, it doesn't look like much, right? Uh, it does however have a book. I have sort of taken a gander at the book. Um, So let's see. This book right here, yeah, I have made it. I have looked at it. It is a, a very big read um, if you want to take a look at this. So basically it's a magic, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. It is, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, it does take a little bit to get into and we're technically looking for a sword uh, that I've heard so many people talking about saying, I have a sword, blah, 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 that's like several thousand damage worth. And yeah, what we can do is we hurt ourselves like this and then hurry and quickly hit the M key if it's set or in my case, the one key. And uh, we just became a Mahoy to Sky, right? So I can definitely tell this book is going to be my best friend when getting into this mod because it talks here about all the different uh, categories of spells and catalysts that are going to be used to create those spells. Uh, we have iron, ender pearls, diamonds, emeralds, gold, quartz, and ender eyes. All of these different things are going to talk about this. And as far as like JEI helping you out, not not so much. Um, so this book is going to be definitely where it's at. So this right here looks like a pretty decent spell to be able to consume some of the mana fairly quickly. As you can see, it requires 50 mana per use. It's going to require a cloth. It's also going to require powdered diamond and two powdered ender pearls in this pattern. Uh, when we actually make our blood circle. So, setting this up shouldn't be too difficult. We do need our, our powdered stuff, our diamond. So, um, I'm gonna be in this mod a lot because we need to make the hammer, apparently. And then we need a diamond. So this, and then the ender pearls, just like that. So there is the two components we need. Now, it says it needs a cloth. So this is a spell cloth. It's gonna be apparently require a dagger. Um, and we should be able to take our dagger because we're gonna need that, if you remember correctly. And I'm assuming what we do is we place down the cloth, then we hurt ourselves, and then we place this down on the cloth. And then, um, so diamond on the top, this and this. And then that makes the scroll a projectile displacement. Okay. And then we need a bow. Uh, I'm just going to use a, uh, just a regular old bow, I guess. We can combine these. There we are. Because I don't know, it should work with this bow. But I don't know. I'm just going to go with just a regular bow. Um, so, if I use this. Oh, it actually used the mana. Um, and we're slowly, okay, so we now have 101 on our mana, but how come it didn't work? Ah, uh, I know why it didn't work, because you're supposed to shoot the arrow, then use the displacement spell, and it will take you to that. Ah, okay, so that's what this is used for, so it'll teleport you to the last shot arrow. Interesting. I just gotta get this to work, so I gotta slowly let my... Uh, my mana regen before we can do anything here. So I'm working on Batania a little bit, but I did want to try this out. So if I shoot this arrow over here, and I use that, oh, you just seen. It worked. So I, I guess that was the last use because it did consume that scroll. I don't know if the consumption of that scroll is random or if it only lasts three uses. Looks like one of the really cool items we could potentially make is going to be the Mystic Code, which does uh, require a little bit of powdered gold. 
but I mean, all in all, it's actually not too much to make this thing. And wow, okay, that is that is some sexiness right there. Oh man. And um, so it can hold three stacks of individual scrolls. So depending on what scroll we make, it can hold that. And then I can just change it by holding my secondary key, which I have it set to numpad two, because of course that one was also key, uh, keybind conflicting. Um, so yeah, if we make some scrolls, we have the ability to use it. Oh wow, and I guess it changes colors depending on what slot you're in. Ooh, the pink, look at that. So I'm also gonna go ahead and make the attuner, which is also an attuned diamond we can apparently put in here. Is that a thing? Attuned diamond, and then we can take that, and we could have made an attuned emerald. The attuned, attuned diamond is 10,000, this is 5,000, so technically this one's better. Now, I don't know. Okay, so I can use this, and that basically takes my current mana and stores it inside of it. And I think this can be used. I think this can be used. Oh, and this also brings up our level as well. So the more we put inside here, the higher our overall mana usage goes up. Pretty nice. Now, um, apparently along that ley line, which I think we're on a ley line, um, I was able to kind of see it. This right here, I think this is actually a ley line, even though we can't see it. I don't know if it's because of the lighting um, feature I have turned on but I think technically we are on a ley line. So I'm really thinking about this displacement boundary. This is going to drain one mana um, every five seconds. So technically it's gonna be a constant, um, a constant thing that happens. And we can just place this anywhere on the ground and it is going to constantly consume our mana. Now I'm thinking that will hopefully help raise this up as well. Um, and this is gonna be a slow process from it looks like to be able to get our level up to where we want it. I think a good place to put this would probably be over here. If I take a look at this, um, looks like the small circle gets that. Uh, okay, so it should be pretty easy to remember. I just need to pop this, bam. Uh, this would, should, within a 10 block radius, prevent mobs from coming in here. It'll teleport them away, I think. It's just what I kind of got from it. So little circle gets that. Like, does it even matter? It doesn't. Okay, you just place it anywhere so long as all of those items are in there. So this is a displacement boundary, and I just activated it. So it should now slowly over time consume mana, while I'm also regenerating mana, but it is also consuming it at the same time. So that's actually a good thing, because it should slowly raise our mana usage, at least I would hope so. Okay, maybe it's not the greatest thing in the world because it did just flick my villager <laughs> out here. Um, mob imprisonment tool. Um, where do I? Where did I store that? In here. Okay. Um, yeah, you you need to go back. Th uh, oh boy. Uh, break it. I need to. I need to break it. Oh no, he's. Well, we just lost a villager. <laughs> He was fully leveled up too. He was selling me cake and everything. Oh man. <laughs> oh, we're gonna, we gotta get an F in chat for the villager there. So I was going through all the different enchants sort of reading what they can do and uh, definitely come across a few of them that are under the exchange category, which are actually really cool. I do like the exchange section here. Some of the stuff that you can do like exchanging blocks like with an alchemy or an alchemical exchange. That's kind of cool. Um, but I want to gain more mana, and of course, this seems to be a good source of mana early on. Um, and it's going to restore a maximum of 10 mana per second, which is actually kind of a, a lot, uh, considering we're gaining it really, really slowly. Um, so, when placed on the floor, this circle will convert its durability of the item on top of it into mana. Alternatively, um, it can do so from a chest underneath it as well. So I guess we, we make this on top of a chest, um, and then we put an item in it. But I'm, I'm kind of wondering... What happens if we do that with, um, what, what if we do that with an unbreakable item? Uh, will it, will this work still? Or will it ever consume that item? Will it be permanent? Is that something that we can do? That's something I want to see. That might be an option. So we need a uh, diamond, emerald, and emerald. 
So that's not too bad. I don't know why I ended up putting that over there. So we need a diamond, emerald, and unfortunately our emerald generator died on us. <laughs> our poor villager. Oh man. Um, so now we have this and we need a chest. Just a simple chest and a unbreakable item. So, I mean, I could just do any unbreakable item. I guess a diamond sword might do the Kate do this. Um, I mean, I can have enchants on it. It's not really going to matter. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the diamond tool. So let's just say this, for example, um, and we need to set up a chest about here. We put the item in it and then on top we create the blood circle hurting herself and can we do that um it does say underneath it unless it's meaning like underneath the dirt hmm i i i, I get it i get how this is going to be i i i understand now okay 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 it's it's, it's being this way so we technically have to do the little hurty hurt and get it placed on here. Maybe I can do it from this way. There we go. And then place it there. And then we can place the chest. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm getting, I'm catching its drift. Place this in, then this and this. Activate it, I guess. And we put that inside. And that should technically start generating a lot more mana quickly. We should hope anyways to, uh, I can try putting a tool in, let's see, let's try a, a sword. We have all this diamond gear. Let's put this in it, for example. So this has durability. Okay. But it's not taking this because it is unbreakable. Okay. So we will have to go with gear that does have a durability. So that actually kind of gives us a use for all of this useless gear that we don't really need that we have gained from all kinds of dungeons. But really we can just leave this in here, not that, <laughs> and just let this consume that gear over a period of time. And you can see this should hopefully help us build up our mana. So of course, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, and that is going to go to Keenan Casey. Thank you so much for your amazing support over on the Patreon. And uh, I just want to say, guys, if you're interested in becoming a Patreon yourself, be sure to check the description down below. It is honestly one of the best ways to support me and the videos that I make. Um, so guys, thank you so much for, uh, for joining me in today's episode. I know, kind of a chaotic episode, but Man, we're getting into some of this magic anime mod magic stuff. Man, I'm I'm kind of hyped to see some of the new stuff we get into. Now that we know how to get more mana, that was one of the big hurdles. I can't wait to get this sword. I've already kind of looked into it. Oh boy, this sword is going to be epic, but unfortunately it's going to come at a cost. And uh, that's sadly a best friend. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next episode. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.